So you want to add a solar panel to your Prius camper or other automobile. Here's what I know about it. First, why? For one, I wanted to run a 12 volt fridge off of a house battery, and solar is a great way to charge that battery and keep the fridge running passively. Two, I've always wanted solar power on my house, so for me, this is a great way to learn the basics of solar installation for when I have a house to solarize. And three, free electricity is cool, and I want to keep a good relationship with the sun. With that said, here's how I installed a solar panel on my Prius camper. The panel is a 100 watt flexible solar panel. I chose flexible because I don't want a roof rack. It mounts flush to the car with no added drag and no decrease to the miles per gallon. I found it on Amazon for about $130 with a PWM solar charge controller and wiring included. I later upgraded from a PWM to an MPPT controller, but the included controller was sufficient for the time that I used it. PWM controllers have fewer features, but are much cheaper than MPPTs. They're completely adequate for small setups like this. The panel is mounted on top of a piece of corrugated plastic with a few bolts and some Maternavon roofing tape. I did not choose to drill into the roof. I didn't want to deal with any leaks or any other holy problems if I ever removed the panel. The corrugated plastic goes underneath to help the panel with temperature regulation. Solar panels become less efficient when they're very hot, so some airflow underneath helps keep it cool on extra sunny days. It may also help moisture escape from the area too. The bolts connect the plastic sheet to the solar panel. There are six mounting holes along the panel's edge. The bolts don't do a whole lot, and I could have just taped the panel down, but any extra security is peace of mind to me. The bolts are one inch carriage bolts with a flat head, so they rest flush to the roof. I use two nuts to lock them in place. For taping, For taping, I use two different types of tape. First, I use a double-sided mounting tape to attach the corrugated plastic to the roof. Oh, that looks good. For on top, I used a very strong roof sealant tape. I'm sure many types would work, but I used a brand called Eternabond. It's fairly expensive and very sticky, so try not to mess up when applying. I bought two strips of two inch wide by four feet long for $10 each. I taped the plastic down in front and back in addition to small strips over the bolts with a hole cut out for them. Then I mounted the panel with more double-sided mounting tape and used the roofing tape again in the front and back. I've driven about 5,000 miles with the panel attached and so far no problems. The wires are taped down with loops of duct tape. Why I did it this way, I'm not sure, but it's holding up so far. The ends of the wires enter the car through the rear hatch. There's a gap just big enough for them to fit in each corner. The solar wires connect to my MPPT slash DC to DC charge controller inside the car. How these wires are installed will depend on your charge controller. That's about it as far as install goes. Here are my overall pros and cons. For the pros, it gives me free power. Always appreciated. Another pro? Solar is fun and cool, which we all know. Three, the install was easier than expected. As well as the connection to the solar charger, this was much easier than I expected. Pro number four, in my opinion, it looks cool. Last but not least, the sun god is proud. As far as the cons go, one is that 100 watts is not a ton of power. It can't keep my battery charged in the winter with constant use of a 12 volt fridge. That's why I have the DC to DC charger installed as well. Secondly, it's a hundred to $200 investment for the panel and everything that goes with it. I view this as a luxury item. It's definitely not an essential. The easiest way to keep a fridge running is probably with a power station that you just charge while you're driving. And last for the cons is that it stands out. I don't mind this, but if you want to go maximum stealth, this is probably not the move. I already have a tow hitch coming off the back that shows that something's up, but I don't mind it standing out, personally. What would I do different? Not much. Probably just upgrade to an MPPT charge controller right away and have lower expectations of how much power it's going to produce. I might do two panels instead of one if I was feeling bold. But overall, I think it worked out great, and I enjoy having the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Thanks for watching. Any questions, leave a comment. I'd love to help. Please subscribe. Check out my other videos if you're interested. Peace.